از چینه ها پاک شود Iran's new president, Hassan Rouhani, studied in the West and speaks English, unlike his predecessors. How are you, sir? Thank you. Rouhani's cabinet has more U.S.-educated PhDs than does President Obama's. His campaign promise to stop Internet censorship and to promote the free flow of information. President Rouhani saw that the American president had used YouTube effectively, and he didn't hesitate to copy what worked. You may remember the Obama music video, Yes, We Can. It was a creed written into the founding documents that declared the destiny of a nation. Yes, we can. It used the words of a campaign speech. Slaves and abolitionists as they blazed the trail toward freedom. Yes, we can. Rouhani's inauguration speech spoke of an end to resentment, of friendship and conciliation, words we hadn't heard from Iran before. His YouTube video actually mirrored Obama's, even a bit more highly produced. Just six weeks into his presidency, President Rouhani granted his first interview with a foreign journalist. Though he speaks English, when it came to doing our formal interview, he spoke in his native Farsi. There's a seat here right to the right, please. We asked about the letter President Obama had sent him congratulating him on his election. From my point of view, the tone of the letter was positive and constructive. Do you see it as a foundation? Well, it could be a subtle and small step for a very important future. What almost no one knew at the time was that the U.S. and Iran had been talking secretly for about a year and a half. The Americans were concerned about Iran's nuclear program, Iran about economic sanctions, and these were the secret back-channel talks that would stay secret. And the man at the center of it was John Kerry, before he was Secretary of State, when he was still a U.S. Senator. I think uh, Senator Kerry, uh, when he was the Chairman of Senate Foreign Relations Committee, was interested, uh, and we heard about it. We had a lot of lead-in uh, information and, and contact, even, in a sense of possibilities. The two countries were invited to meet by the Sultan of Oman, who considers himself and his country an ally of both the West and Iran. I began the process of reaching out and came to the president and to his team and said, we should, you know, here's an opening, here's a channel. Are you comfortable pursuing it, with my pursuing it in that way? And to the credit of, of the president and of Secretary Clinton and the team, they bought into it, and they trusted me to go through this back effort. Kerry managed to travel secretly to Oman. His senatorial calendar simply said he was out of town. Kerry would be followed, again secretly, by Deputy Secretary of State Bill Burns, one of the most experienced men in government. And with him was Jake Sullivan, seen here in Pakistan when he was an aide to Hillary Clinton at the State Department. You won't see a picture of either one in connection with these Iranian negotiations. They are the invisible players. Iranians saw their economy crumbling. International sanctions had slashed imports and oil sales. They understood that those sanctions would stay in place until Iran proved its growing nuclear program would not be used to make a bomb. We knew there were outlines of the possibilities of an agreement which given the right circumstances, you might be able to take somewhere. With the election of President Rouhani and the change uh, of the foreign ministers and the appointment of uh, Foreign Minister Zarif, it became more clear that they were prepared to engage in a discussion. The amount of interest that existed uh, for, uh, to see Iran, to, to see what this new face of Iranian foreign policy uh, looked like and what, what, what did we want to tell the world. This was interesting and overwhelming, in fact. In a week, President Rouhani would be going to New York to address the UN General Assembly. I asked the question on a lot of minds. Would you be against meeting with President Obama in the near future, Mr. President? 
هر چیزی در well, سیاست لازم هست. He would go with the backing of Iran's supreme leader, the man at the top. The problem won't be from our side. We have sufficient political latitude to solve this problem. Using the back channel and the foreign minister's extensive UN contacts, a plan emerged that assured President Rouhani's trip would be anything but routine.